good morning so in this video i'm going to discuss about <coughs> average rate and instantaneous rate two different types of rates that is one is average rate another one is instantaneous rate okay so now let us see what is the definition so average rate is nothing but rate of a chemical reaction over the entire time period of the reaction if you calculate rate of a particular reaction for the whole time for the whole time for the entire time period then that is called as average rate okay right so rate for entire time period then the other one is instantaneous rate so what is instantaneous rate now it is the rate of a chemical reaction at a particular instant of time rate of a chemical reaction at a particular instant so if you measure rate at a particular time whether in 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes whatever it is then that is called as instantaneous rate okay rate at a particular instant instantaneous rate rate for the entire time period average rate okay so if you measure rate between uh, 10 minutes to 20 minutes that you can take it as an instantaneous rate okay right or if you measure between 5 minutes to 10 minutes is a instantaneous rate okay right now let us understand the difference between average rate and instantaneous rate by taking an example uh, isomerization of cyclopropane okay so it's nothing but a conversion of cyclopropane into propene a conversion of a cyclic compound cyclopropane into a open chain compound propene okay so actually this reaction occurs at a temperature about 780 kelvin okay so there's nothing but cyclopropane a cyclic uh, compound so while on heating at 780 kelvin it gets opened up so that you are getting a open chain compound propene okay right here you are given uh, the concentration of reactants at different time intervals actually you are given the concentration of cyclopropane at different time intervals from 0 minutes to 30 minutes okay so i have written the data the first column is nothing but time in minutes second column concentration of reactant concentration of cyclopropane in mole per liter at uh, given uh, time intervals okay whereas for uh, 0 minutes it is about 2 mole per liter 2 mole per liter which means 0 minutes is nothing but beginning of the reaction so which means initially we take 2 moles of cyclopropane so once the reaction starts the concentration of cyclopropane gradually decreases isn't it because that decomposes into propane isn't it so after 5 minutes after 5 minutes its concentration is getting decreased into 1.67 mole per liter so likewise till 30 minutes you are given the concentration of cyclopropane at 30 minutes it is about 0 0.69 mole per liter okay right now from the data given data let us calculate average rate as well as instantaneous rate for this isomerization of cyclopropane okay right now according to rate uh, definition so rate is nothing but change in concentration divided by change in time change in concentration of the reactant or product per unit time or change in concentration of reactant or product with respect to change in time isn't it right uh, the change in concentration if you express with respect to reactant we are supposed to use minus sign isn't it because here you are given only the concentration of reactant we are going to uh, determine rate with respect to reactant so let us use a negative sign so, so rate equal to minus final concentration minus initial concentration final concentration minus initial concentration divided by change in time final time minus initial time okay right but now let us substitute the values uh, final concentration this is the final concentration isn't it 0 0.69 mole per liter that i have substituted here then initial concentration at zero minute it is about two so minus two isn't it mole per liter with unit divided by final time minus initial time final time is 30 minutes initial time zero minutes isn't it 30 minus 0 with unit minutes okay right but now when you bring up minute to the numerator it becomes per minute so that the unit of rate will be mole per liter per minute okay right now uh, the second term becomes positive isn't it so i write the second term first 2 minus 0 0.69 divided by denominator la 30 2 minus 0 0.69 is nothing but 1.31 divided by 30 isn't it 1.31 divided by 30 is nothing but this value 0 0.0 436 that is a single decimal 4.36 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter per minute okay so this is the rate of the reaction over the entire time period 
over the entire time period that is for about 30 minutes given 30 minutes okay so this is what we call it as uh, average rate of the reaction okay so that uh, the rate of this isomerization of cyclopropane in average about 4.36 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter per minute okay so every minute every minute the concentration change is about 4.36 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter in average okay right now let us uh, see the calculation of instantaneous rate okay right so now we want to know the rate of reaction at a particular instant of time so let us calculate rate of reaction between 0 to 10 minutes the formula is nothing but the same minus final concentration minus initial concentration divided by final time minus initial time okay right so final time is 10 minutes initial time 0 minutes so denominator of final final time 10 minutes initial time 0 minutes then at 10 minutes the concentration is 1.4 mole per liter 0 minutes initially 2 mole per liter upon minus 1.40 minus 2 2.00 with unit mole per liter time minute okay right so second term will become positive isn't it so the 2 minus 1.4 so you are getting 0 0.06 denominator 10 minus 0 10 is nothing but 0 0.06 as a single decimal 6 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter per minute okay so now this is nothing but rate of this particular chemical reaction between the time 0 to 10 minutes up to 10 minutes the rate is about 6 into 10 power minus 2 okay right so let us have another calculation uh, rate between 20 to 30 minutes okay right here the final time is 30 minutes initial time 20 minutes okay right in the formula final concentration 0.69 mole per liter in his uh, initial concentration final concentration 30 minutes 0.69 last data isn't it whereas 20 minutes it is 0.98 so formula i have substituted divided by time final time 30 initial time 20 okay right up now so second term first i write because it is a positive one 0.98 minus 0.69 divided by 30 minus 20 10 isn't it right now you are getting 0.29 divided by 10 which is nothing but 0 0.029 0 0.029 as a single decimal 2.9 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter per minute okay right now this is the rate of the reaction this is the rate of the reaction between time 20 to 30 minutes okay right now the rate between 0 to 10 minutes is 6 into 10 power minus 2 rate between 20 to 30 minutes is about almost 3 is it 3 into 10 power minus 2 okay just compare these two values compare these two values this is 0 0.06 this is 0 0.03 around isn't it so this is a greater value this is a smaller value because you know very well that when the reaction proceeds when the reaction proceeds the concentration of reactant gradually decreases isn't it there is a law called as law of mass action according to law of mass action rate is directly proportional rate is directly proportional to concentration of reactants isn't it as the reaction is in progress the concentration of reactant gradually decreases so rate also decreases that's what we are observing here initially 0 to 10 minutes la rate is about this much a higher value 20 to 30 minutes so after some time isn't it the rate is decreased about 3 into 10 power minus 2 mole per liter which means this was uh, at the progress the rate of the reaction gradually decreases with the decrease of the concentration of reactants okay these two values are nothing but instantaneous rates okay so i hope you understood the difference between what is average rate and instantaneous rate okay right thank you thanks for watching it keep watching